All righty, good afternoon, mate. You may remember this bloke, Mr. Robert Arrington. Um, we obviously met in Saudi Arabia. I'm in his backyard now and he's come and picked me up. Absolutely. And he was just telling me about what could be on the menu for the fishing, outdoor activity scene here in Florida. What are we talking? So, <clears throat> we have a lot to do here. And uh, one of the things that really defines us, deer meat for dinner, is catch, clean, and cook. So I think at some point, we definitely need to go out to the ranch and do a wild pig hunt, clean the pig, cut a swamp cabbage, make wild hog swamp cabbage over an open fire on the ranch. I mean, that's just a huge part of who I am. It's part of my background. We also, on a 180 degree difference, have the mullet run going on right now. So there's millions of mullet running up and down the beach and in all the inlets and if we go find them we're gonna find a bunch of tarpon snook jacks and black tip sharks and everything else and then we just have you know some big gator tags i have gator tags for lake kissimmee <laughs> north end of lake okeechobee and so if we go on the hog hunt then we can use the hog lungs for gator bait and it's sort of like a recycled food chain challenge this is just my backyard this is my home and our first stop is going to be the beach to see what the ocean looks like and that will help determine what we're going to pick off the menu sounds bloody amazing does the pig hunting in, entail shooting <laughs> unless you can get one to kill itself yes well looks like i'm in for a bit of an experience i have shot a gun once in my life really since, yeah man since i've been in america i've seen more guns in the last five days than i've ever seen there's three boxes of them right oh there. my <laughs> god man <laughs> Obviously, for the fishing side of things, I'd love to catch a tarpon, but I'll take whatever I can bloody get, really. Yeah, so to everyone out there, you know, I know you're huge into catch and release and whatnot, and, and I am as well, but I'm also into organic, healthy living. Yeah. And whenever you go into a supermarket and you pick up a piece of meat, no matter what it is, beef, chicken, pork, turkey, whatever, that was raised somewhere with the single purpose of being slaughtered for food. Yeah. Man, to me personally, I, if I were going to be an animal, I would rather live out in the wild eating exactly what I wanted, when I wanted, and how I wanted. And if one day I were to be quickly and ethically killed by a hunter's bullet, I think that would be the perfect way to go. Because when things go right, which I practice a lot to make sure they go right, it's just a bang, dead. Yeah. And so you know what? every animal just like every person we're all going to leave this world and i would rather leave it in the blink of an eye than getting sick and being eaten yeah. butt first by by wild dogs or bobcats yeah yeah i think you're dead right and i've never thought about hunting in that way but i'm gonna say <laughs> the poor animal that has me shooting at it is gonna be running away pretty quickly but you're because gonna I'm gonna get miss. some proper training if you come <laughs> hunting with me you're gonna get some proper training and you're gonna have a lot of confidence I if I don't have confidence in you there's no way you're gonna get to shoot but yeah. if, if, if you're able to, to put it together I guarantee you at the end of this day you will have a whole different outlook on hunting and wild game something different and that's the beauty of doing this stuff and it's kind of cool the whole background of how we met in Saudi Arabia, like, you have a common interest in fishing, <laughs> and now we're here in Florida of all places. Like, how the hell did I end up here? Yeah. So, um, listen, this is what I want to know. If his video can get 20,000 likes, I'm sure there's 20,000 people out there that will like this video. 20,000 likes, I'm packing up me, dear mom, both my kids, and we're flying to see him in Australia. 20,000 likes? 20,000. Do you know how many likes my videos normally get? How many? Probably maximum 2,000. <laughs> so you got yourself a bit of a task. 20,000 and we're going to Australia. All right, there you go. That'd be epic, man. You've never been to Australia, hey? I have one time years ago fishing, but I was I was there with a crew and I, I didn't really have the freedom to do what I wanted to do. Well, I can guarantee you if you come to Australia, I'll put a bit of strain on your spine <laughs> from a rather large GT. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make a plan. We're gonna go check out the beach. I'm gonna chew the fat with Rob for a bit because I haven't seen him and I just shoved the camera in his face. We'll see you soon. Oh, I, want, I want to ask you a quick question before you go. All Is right. this the longest stretch of speaking you've ever gone without dropping an F-bomb? <laughs> Mate, I've been practicing. Do you want me to give one now? Hey, now's as good a time as ever. No, I'm gonna save it actually. There'll be an appropriate time. Possibly 
when I hook, if I hook a tarp and there'll be plenty of F-bombs, <laughs> and if I'm shooting at something, there will be, like, it'll be full on. So, we'll save it for later, right? What are you doing? Are you Is serious? Is it warm? Is it warm out there? You're getting hot. It Look just weighed on you. I've never seen one of these before, man. What is it? An oh, oh, wait. She's gonna bite me. She's gonna bite me. Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god, Robert. <laughs> Are you sure she's not gonna bite me? She just fully bit me. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I'm... <laughs> That's the canal out there. She sleeps in the canal. There's a like a whole wooded area. Yeah. That's where she sleeps. That's where she lives. And then she just knows us. Oh my god, man. Feel how flat her tail is? So that's like a propeller. Oh wow. That's like her, this is her propeller. Her back feet are her propellers. Yeah. But she's we don't really have... wild, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what? No way. She's super cool. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Gemma Brooks, don't you get any ideas. <laughs> Because I don't think you can quite cope with this little little thing. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. How's its little ears, man? Feeling all this? No, I'm scared of. Uh, oh! What if she bites your peanut? Well, that wouldn't be nice. Hello. She's just. All she's gonna do is just. She'll just. She'll just play with you. She's got sharp teeth, man. <laughs> she's biting me. I'm so scared for my balls. See, but the different. There's a difference here with this one. <laughs> the boys came second. <laughs> yeah, right. The wombats one says first. <laughs> Alrighty, we've formulated a plan here. We went down the beach, the water's dirty, the onshore breeze is blowing. So as you can see by what's wrapped around my neck, or we probably can't see. Ha ha ha. We're going hunting, mate. I've never really been hunting before, but this is what these guys do here. They do this stuff every day. This is their life, so I'm pretty pumped to um, get shown firsthand how they do it, and I think we're going to try and shoot a pig, and we're going to eat it. So this will be something different, and I'm kind of nervous. I'm actually really nervous. Rob has got how 3,000 acres out here, so we're out patrolling his... Jesus. He just gave me a knife. What's this for? Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> what do you think, Dave? I'm turning the GoPro off. Oh, I'm actually freaking out. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Okay, so first, let's get you on the gun. On there you go. Scoot up. You're going to put this gun right in the in the corner of your shoulder there. Put your face on. There you go. You rest your, your elbow right there. Can't see anything through here. Imagine using a spinning rod. Mm. If you're not holding the spinning rod, you can't use the spinning yeah, yeah, rod properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So always, if you're not ready to shoot, keep that trigger finger right up there. All right. Go ahead and get comfortable on the gun. Bring this hand, bring this hand over here. There you go, just like that. And just sort of like get comfortable. Now, you're comfortable right there. Yeah. I'm just gonna put it on fire. Now, when you, when you gently pull that trigger, now watch. Oh yeah. See the little orange dot? Yeah. Is there one little orange dot? Yeah. Put that little in orange dot right in the center of that square. Well, I'm aiming at the long one, man, I just realized. Oh, you're aiming at the white one. I'm aiming way down. Should I should go to the first Shoot one? Shoot the first square right there. Okay. Put it right in the center there and just gently pull the trigger. Just gently load up. Just gently. Drilled it. First shot ever. Hell. <laughs> I told you I'd swear straight away. Holy. That Two, was wild, man. 200 meters and you smoked it. But that's, that's where it is. You had proper mechanics, good gun, good to go. Now always take your finger off the trigger. Even though it's still, it's not loaded. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, right. Gun etiquette. It's a big thing, eh? Well, the gun is meant to, to hurt things, so you always want to... <sighs> That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Alright, so. That was rad though. Okay, now you're gonna just. Okay. Well, take your thing. bolt. Yeah, there you go. Take your bolt. Straight up. 
Yeah. Pull it, move your hand here, it's gonna come straight back. Go right back to it. Get right back on it. Put it right in the center. At 200 yards, you don't have to have the orange dot, but it helps. So I'm ready to roll. Whenever you're ready, just gently pull that trigger. Dude, you're a natural. Hey? You're a natural. Wow. It's kind of better the second time when you know what's coming at. Now, you go. Kidding. Now we're going to go all the way to 500 yards. Trust me. Uh -huh. We're going to tilt this up a little bit to 16 power. What we'll do is we'll, we'll back it up a little bit there like that. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to come in. Have, have the crosshairs right on it, okay? Yeah. What does the number say up top? 494. 494 meters. I'm not on it now. Now you see the orange dot down know. below? I don't know, I've lost it again. Yeah. yeah. See, see the orange dot down below? You're going to put that orange dot in the center of that white, right in the dead center. And now you're going to really have to pay attention and take it very slowly, pull the trigger. This gun is so... That's unbelievable, man. I was shaking so much and like going all around it then. <laughs> First, so oh. when we were in Australia or when we were in Saudi, my bro, Adam Johnson was like, these Australians, they'll sandbag. Sandbag. They sandbag. <laughs> he comes here, he's shot three times. Bing, bing, bing. 200, 200, 500. That's really far, that one. Well, yeah. That's 500 yards. That's 500 yards. Can we talk about how far that could be in meters, please? That was incredible, man. I think, I think it would be safe to say you're okay to go hunt. But I want to do one more thing because this is how we're actually going to be hunting. We're going to sh let you shoot off of sticks. I can't believe I hit that, man. Great shooting. <sighs> Where's my beer? Yo, that was freaking awesome. Oh, man. I was waiting for it and it was pink. That's a cool feeling, eh? I understand why you do it. So what's crazy is if, say the animal's all the way down there, don't they not hear the sound of the they gun? They never hear it. They get the bullet hits them before they Even hear it. Even at 200 yards, they never hear it. The bullets are way faster than them. Even at 50 yards, they don't know it. That was really loose, man. Holy s***. Oh, that so first cool. one honestly scared the crap out of me. I don't know if you can tell, but... um. <laughs> he did great y'all man that uh the first time i ever shot a gun i think i was like 12 years old so i can barely even remember but that feeling that first time i pulled the trigger it honestly scared the bejesus out of me ah <sighs> hey grab your headphones come on crazy adrenaline man that's rad all right one more practice shot and then we're gonna try and um actually hunt something however you feel best yeah. That's how you get. There you go. So, imagine we're sneaking along. There's the hogs. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be shooting right for the front of the shoulder, right in the neck, and it's just going to be like turning the light switch off. Yeah, right. Okay, here you go. Load the gun. <sighs> so stressful, man. Well, All right. So, up. So, you're going to go. Oh, yeah. All the way back. Forward. Yeah. Good. Now you're loaded. Yeah. Keep your finger off the trigger. Yeah. On there like that. Yeah. And then spread your legs so you have a good base. When I'm ready? Whenever you want. Got him, boys. We got him, boys. Jack another one in and shoot it one more time. Oh. All the way back. There you go. Is go right back on him. Woo! Seems like the further up you go, the more stable it is, though.
Coxie. We got him. <laughs> hey? <laughs> oh. Okay, you guys. Pumping me then. Drop a big thumbs up if you think he's sandbagging. He's pulled the trigger five <laughs> times, hit everything he's shooting at. There's no way this is his first time or if second you, time. If you could see through what I'm looking at when I'm, it's like going all over the place. I think it's kind of pure luck. No, it's it's your mind is telling you when to when to break the trigger. So yeah, right. Good job. It's such a wild feeling, man. Um, go ahead, check it out. Is it hot? Well, does that need to go back on? That's it. There's That's no it. more bullets in there. So now I push this forward. Good. Safety on. All right, you guys, we're going hunting. Off-roading. This is all fresh tracks. That's hogs walking in. <laughs> We're getting real close. I can smell. Really? I got him. Oh, great shot, bro. If you could feel my heartbeat right now, dude. Oh, I did get him. That was really intense. I've never shot an animal before. That one had no clue what happened. 
That's what, when I shot and it, I didn't hear any noise, I was like, did I just shoot nothing? No. What you did was, like I said, he was eating and the lights went off. That's what clean food is. So your boy Brooksy has now shot six times and made six perfect shots. You can, just, go ahead. I was just gonna say the camera's shaking because I'm freaking out. That was gnarly. Well, it's actually a perfect size hog. That's, you know, 50, 60 pounder. Um, gonna be great to eat. And we were talking on the way out here about clean food. Yeah. That hog was one of God knows how many of yeah. that are out here. Yeah. And all of a sudden, his number was pulled and yeah. it was just, he never went down any line. He didn't yeah. get a captive bolt. Yeah, it was yeah, just, yeah, yeah. it's ended. so true, man. That was like, oh, there was enough. The sec, the big one came in and then bailed back. And I was like, it's your lucky day, mate. <laughs> it's really intense. Like, I've never killed it. Like, I kill fish and stuff, but for some reason, your brain thinks it as a different thing. Well, but, your mouth will think it's the same. Oh, right. yeah. Well, that's that's the thing. Hearing you say that, it um, really puts it in perspective that it's way better to do this yeah. than to go to the supermarket. So Let's go. That's what you're after. Wow. Thank you, know? you, animal. That's it. So we were just in in a, a Sweetgrass, Canada, yeah. uh, Indian Reservation. Yeah. And anytime they harvest animal, they'll take a handful of tobacco and put it down next to the yeah, right. animal. And uh, it's a way of saying thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Eh? Super cool. But uh, that hog, there was zero suffering involved. That yeah. was just, the lights well, went off. Like I said, when I shot, I was like, I missed because I just didn't hear anything. I thought like, far out, was I like, aiming at like a stick or something? But, <laughs> wow, that's an incredible feeling. Yeah, so. <clears throat> that was, I was really, emphatic about bringing him out here making sure he was comfortable with the gun every mm. gun has a different trigger every gun has a different feel and uh your boy brooksy did it hey? yeah. i can't believe i actually like didn't miss no <laughs> thanks heaps man because like like i like i've never done anything like remotely like this so yeah it's a pretty cool experience and i'm looking forward to eating him it's going to be as good as it could possibly be. I can imagine. Be. I can imagine. Look at him. He's a prime size little fella. Yeah. Didn't mess up any meat. So, all right, you guys, we're going to load him up and go to camp.